Hello, my beautiful souls that watch this YouTube channel. I am so excited to share what's happening in my life, and I hope that it will be an inspiration to your life as well. This YouTube channel has been up for almost three years now, and it's been an amazing experience. And you know what that's even more amazing is how life's journey can be a lot like riding waves. What does that even mean? Right? I love the ocean so much, so any metaphor to do with waves, I'm going to find it and make something out of it. But think about it. If you are riding the waves of life, or all the waves of life riding you? It's a really deep question, so if you take a minute to think about it, that'll give you some really insight to what's happening in your life. And it's happening in my life, and it's happening in the world. I don't know if you know this or notice it, but we are at the precipice of an evolution, I think is the best word I can come up with, of the world. I mean, we've gone through some things, and I've been alive for a really long time, and I, I look forward to the day when I'm 100, when people that have lived for 100 years look back and go, holy moly, look at all the things that have happened literally just in the last 100 years. But you know, we are moving so fast in the world today that things are about to happen in the next 5, 10 years that I think will blow everybody's mind. But I digress. So are you in control of your own experience? That's really what this is about. And I know that this channel is about Wichita Falls, and I'm going to share with you what's happening for me and how this channel is going to change and morph in just a second. So I ask you this question again. Are you in control of your own experience, or are you letting the tides of circumstance dictate your emotions? I think that's a pretty profound question because what I do know about life, and I'm so... Um, I should have been a neurobiologist because I really love how our minds and our brains work. And it's really interesting because there's this thing called neuroplasticity that is about changing your behavior. Because if you don't like where you are right now, you're the only one that can change it. Because it's easy to get caught up in a storm of negativity or um, behavior that doesn't serve you or ideas that are not not letting you live your best life. And when I started this channel and that video is still up and I haven't changed it, it's about living your best life. So I happen to be living my best life in Wichita Falls. So I wanted to express that this is a great place to do that, to live your best life. Because the world is throwing challenges at us daily. And sometimes it feels like we're drowning in them. And what I wanted to really express through this channel about Wichita Falls was that people come here quite often for the military or um, for NATO or for the hospital or any number of different reasons. And if you're in the military, you get stationed here. Maybe not by choice. And the whole notion that I've I've experienced it. I don't pay any attention to it because I know that it's not the truth of me. But people will show up here. I'm using an example right now of um, a good friend of mine that just, well, she's my good friend now. It's like we've known each other forever. And um, she just moved here from Germany. And she is experiencing people that are here through NATO, not by necessarily a choice of their own. They may be the spouse of some NATO military person. And they talk about Wichita Falls as if, it's the worst place on the planet to be. And it's so cute because I share my experiences with her. I've taken her around the town. She says, I needed to have a tourist um, bus because I see Wichita Falls. <laughs> Makes me cry. I see Wichita Falls as a major opportunity to find yourself, to have goodness in your life, to experience things on a much smaller level than a bigger city, and to live around people that are so kind and so loving and so generous. So what happens is they then are feeling that overwhelm of the world giving them stuff that they don't really want. But you know what? Just like a skillful surfer doesn't control the waves, because a lot of times people move here, they can't control the fact that they moved here. But more importantly, people that have lived here their whole lives and this doesn't mean that it's just Wichita Falls. It's cities around the world. But they feel like 
they're not happy where they are. And what I will say is that wherever you are, wherever you go, there you are. And if you don't look at, you can't control the waves. You can't control the experience that you're having, but you can master the art of writing them, of joyfully experiencing the thrill, the fun, the joy of surfing, then you are going to look at life and see all that negative energy and all that negative possibility. And instead of the potential of possibility, the potential of good and love and joy in your life. Because you have the power to navigate anything that life throws at you and make it your experience that's just over the moon. So imagine this. You're not a passenger on this journey called life. You're the captain of your ship. You choose the direction. You decide how to navigate those waves. And you create meaning in each and every moment. So let that sit for just a second. Life's experiences, my beautiful friends, they are going to keep coming. And I've shared a lot about my journey to Wichita Falls, and it was fraught with challenges. And yet, life keeps coming at me. Some days it's just overwhelming because I've programmed that into my brain for it to be overwhelming. And to make a choice that it's not takes focus. Because life is going to come at you whether you're ready or not. That's just the fact of it. That's the that's the point of being on this planet. But if you remember that you've got the power within you to shape this journey into something extraordinary, wow, how cool is that? How flippin' cool is that? So I'm going to ask you this, because this was the statement that I made in that first video is, you can live your best life here in Wichita Falls. You can live your best life anywhere. I find that it's really easy and awesome here. And I'm about to venture out into parts unknown as well. But let me ask you this. What kind of life do you want to live? Are you going to let life happen to you? Or are you going to grab the reins and ride those waves with purpose? So I've decided... Literally, I've been thinking about this for a while. When I got here to Wichita Falls, I, I've shared this many times. I studied for my real estate exam um, so that I could get my license here. And I've been, uh, I, I've conquered that world. <laughs> I'm a really great real estate agent. I'm a really great mortgage professional. I'm a really great investor. And those are things that I really had a skill set for before I got here. But I'm also an amazing abundance coach. I'm an amazing abundance teacher. And that's where my passion is. So I put that little dream, that little feeling on the shelf for a minute because I needed to reestablish my confidence in knowing that I could create the life that I wanted, doing something that was super easy for me. Being a real estate professional is really super easy for me. But I also wanted to share this community with people that never had been here before or reintroduce it to people that live here. And it's now time, after three years, for me to set aside the real estate bit just a little bit. I am going to work with people that I love and past clients that we are just on the same page. I'm not throwing you guys that love me out the window. But I am going to put that on the back burner and I am going to put on the front burner teaching about abundance, having retreats in Playa del Carmen for amazing, strong, powerful women. And I'm going to put a video up for about my retreat because um, I don't know exactly what's going to happen with this YouTube channel. I am debating, so you feel free to weigh in if you're an a avid follower of this channel. Um, because I may just start a new channel and this one probably is not going to have be as active. Or I may just change the name of this channel and really focus on what is empowerment? What is abundance? How can you be and live your best life? How can you do that? 
because that's what everyone wants anyways. I know it's fun to do it in Wichita Falls because I've shared that for three years. But what I know is that if you embrace every moment, you rise above the challenges and you ride those waves of life like the champions that I know you are, you are going to see amazing miracles show up in your life. And for those of you that watch this channel, you know that I live under a magic cloud. I believe in miracles. But part of that is this, it's not just positive thinking. It's about looking at all of that thinking that got you here that you say you may not be loving your life as much as you could. Doesn't mean you don't love parts of it. It's not like I'm throwing the baby out with the bathwater. I love my life. And yet, I am listening to navigating those waves in a way that's going to take me to a place where I can serve more people, more souls, more individuals that want to have that magical life. Because that truly is what I was put on this planet to do. And I hope you will join me, whether it's on this channel or the next channel, on the Instagram, on the TikTok, on the Facebook, because I have all these platforms. And so now I want to use those platforms to really up-level you. I'm not doing it, but I want to be that spark, that catalyst, that thing that pokes you in the butt and says, you got this. You are incredible and deserve. It is your actual natural soul's right to be as happy as humanly possible, to be as abundant as you can imagine, and to thrive. So the spark starts now. If you are a follower of this channel, make a comment. Let me know what's going on. Stop being anonymous. Let me know if this is something that you would enjoy. And if not, I probably will just start another channel and let this one be a little less active. You know what I always say, y'all come back now, you hear?